Hey everybody, this is Derek Stevens. I am the crow on the forums. I do the crow's nest daily drops for 3dbuzz.com. Hope you guys are getting some good tips in all these lessons. This is Art 101 for beginners. And again, we're, we're, we're breaking it down very, very basic. And it's kind of actually exciting for me to come back to these basic principles. It's going to make me a better artist teaching. And I guarantee if you follow all the principles of what I'm going to teach you and are teaching you, you'll be a better artist as well. So today, uh, or right now, we're going to be talking about gesture drawing and its power. It's the ability to, to throw down quick lines to get a pose, uh, to get an idea or an image. Gesture drawings are, are quick scribbles, almost like a nervous sort of tension. You don't even have to really lift your, your, your Wacom tablet off, off the tablet, your pen. Or if you're doing this on paper traditionally, you don't have to really lift your pencil off the paper. Now, in previous lessons, I mean, we've talked about hatch marks. We've talked about shapes. And we're really trying to get accustomed to the way our hand and eye move together on paper on your, or on your tablet. And this is another brilliant exercise to get some, some quick ideas down. So what is gesture drawing? Again, it's just a quick gesture line. It is a quick nervous twitch. It is a tick. And uh, this is not an anatomy class by any means, but if I have to draw something, I want to draw something pretty. So we're going to uh, start off with this first. Then after this, we're going to draw a really cool mech robot using a gesture drawing. And um, let's look at our canvas size. Image, image size is 20 by 20, and it's at 300 dpi dots per inch so we can get some really good uh, detail. I use a non-photo blue in my color palette throwing back to my uh, days in comic books and uh, what we're going to do, there's, there's two schools of thought. I can show you one trick here when I hit shift from the shoulder, shift to the hip. I know this area is the shoulder down to the hip. I can do this for the knees. I can come down here for the feet and then up here for the head, kind of block everything off, Let's make it pretty like that. What I like to do is when I start off with a, a rendering or a drawing, whatever you want to call it, I always start off with a midsection. That way I know that uh, if I start my midsection up here, my head's going to run out of room rapidly and it's going to look silly. So I start with the middle most all the time. And here we go. Here we go. Now check this out. If I hit Control Z, it all goes away. It didn't lift my pen up at, one, at all. And I'm just starting off with a simple shape that I see. She's very long, almost like an egg. So I got my uh, torso down through here. I have the crotch area coming down through here like this. I know my shoulders are going to come here. Like so. She's athletic, so she kind of has a V shape. I'm going to come up here with her head. It's kind of uh, tilted the side here. We have the neck coming down like this. Got some cool hair. Like so. And then let's go ahead and finish her leg, shall we? We come down here. Kneecap little bottom action going on through here. Gluteus Maximus, for those who are taking notes. And we have her calves. Little shovel looking things for her feet. Her arms. And quickly, I can actually come here with my eraser tool if I wanted to and be picky and clumpy. Give her more of that shape that I'm wanting. I go back to my B for my brush. And quickly, just by scribbles. I mean, we broke it down in kind of a grid for you. And we just made quick gesture lines. So now if I really wanted to do something, I, I guess the next lesson, this is a bonus lesson for you, okay? I'll come down here, I'll make a new layer, I'll get to my black. I literally can come in through here, because I know this is everything is going to be at. And tracing what we already did, we can tell just right here, 
starting to really take shape. And this is just following my contours of my gesture lines. Even here it won't be the final pass by any means. But you can tell how powerful this whole idea is by using a gesture drawing. The breast will come through here. And from this area right here, I would make another pass. Again and again, probably two to three until I got the proportions right that I want, and then I can start laying down nice detail. But that's the power of a gesture drawing. You're like, hey, that's a hot chick we just drew. And I take a sip of coffee and say, of course it was. Well, how about a hard surface model? What would you do with a gesture drawing with that? Well, funny you should ask. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide this layer here. I'm going to come back down to this layer right here. I'm going to get my marquee select tool. Select this entire area right here. Hit Control T. And I'm going to shrink this mamma jamma down right here. Look, it's a mini me. Hello, mini me. You're so pretty. Thank you very much. I often argue with myself. Mr. Thimble lives in my thumb. I come back up here to where my mech warrior is at. Pretty darn cool, huh? So, again, what I'm going to do, instead of make a grid and all that, I'm going to start right through here. I break it down, go back to my non-photo blue, just to, to be sure I get the right color. There we go. I've selected it. I hit my B for my B brush. And it's a hard surface area. There, there, there's corners. Not razor-sharp corners. That's, that's the one big misnomer that a lot of people are thinking. Even in 3D, when you're modeling, say, a box, you're not going to have this sharp edge corner 99.9% .9 of the time. It's going to have like a bevel to it. So even here, you're going to kind of watch out for the bevels and all that. But let's do this with a gesture drawing. Again, I'm sharing my canvas with my hot mini me chick down here. I'm going to come up here. I'm starting in the midsection. I know he's boxy. I know he's got this little triangular looking thing right down through here. I can see his legs he can kind of come back here like this. This leg down through here. This wraps around for some sort of shin guard. We have a box up through here, probably for ammunition. Heads are going to come through here, it's an itty thing. This comes up here, some sort of shoulder guard. This is recognizing shapes, doing my gesture drawings. Big weapon. Just going to finish the arm out, even though we can't see it. Make it big like this, like some sort of shield. This is some of my own, own embellishments through here, like this. But bam! There are some little bullets flying out, projectiles. And literally from here, again, I'll make a new layer, come back down to my black, and I can start actually rendering out some pretty cool stuff. Ideally, I'd like to work bigger than this. But you just keep building on and building on and building on. Uh, what I'd actually do, instead of going straight to my blacks like this, to my secondary layer, I come back through here and I'd hit a, uh, a darker blue, say something about like this. I would name the layer here, base zero, 02, hit enter, I'm on that particular layer, and I'd come back in here, and I'd still be very loose with my drawings, or my lines, but then I can start putting more detail into it, and how I perceive or how I want to start building it.
Make it nice and round, put the hand through here like so. And then from here, I build another layer, and then until I get my final detail layer. That's the power of gesture drawing. You can see we did a little mini-me of this hot chick right here. You can do hard surface action going on. It's really nice, it's really easy, and it's really fast. So my recommendation to you and your assignment, get yourself a sketchbook. Keep your sketchbook. It's important to keep all your drawings. Because you can't tell if you've grown as an artist if you don't keep it and look back at it. And some of my art, oh man. When I look back at it, I'm like, I can't believe I did that. Uh, but it's a sign of growth, and I, I, would, I definitely want you guys and gals to keep growing. So get yourself a sketchbook, keep all your work, go out, people watch, go to the park, people watch, do some sketches. It's a great way to learn. So with that, thank you very much for uh, entertaining me and yourselves for Drawing 101, Art Class and Gesture Drawings. This is The Crow, and I will talk to you later. Thank you very much.